Hi folks, uh, just thought I'd do a quick look at replacing the, the inner cable on a road blimp. That's the, the rest of the blimp, I've taken it all apart. And um, basically I've replaced the cable for mid-side recording, or if you want to update the cable that came with the road blimp. And I'm talking about the, the one that goes down like that and goes into the handle. Obviously that one, as you can see, is stereo set and it goes into a five pin stereo plug there. So basically I'll just then connect that. I've got a, another lead that goes into that, like that, and then that goes to the recorder, okay? Okay, so first of all, for my findings, there is no reason why you, you need to take all the handle apart. It's just this back section. As long as you can pull the plug out. Now you can see I've, I've actually made this cable a bit longer. Uh, the existing cable, which is, which is that one, they, use, uh, they don't use Nutrik XLR plugs, they use Switchcraft, which um, they go together with any other sort of plug but they're maybe a little bit heavier. They're made of uh, nickel plated steel by the look of it. So, uh, but, as I'll point out, that to actually fit in the handle, a new trick connector won't go in. So um, it needs to be sort of the same shape. Whereas a new trick, you can see there, is slightly different. Even the newer new trick, that's, I've got a batch of the old ones that I'm using up, so. Uh, so Try and keep it all the same, and they work out a little bit cheaper as well. So, uh, coming back to the, the handle. First thing you want to do, because the cable runs down inside the back part of the handle here, is pull the, the plug out. This one's a bit difficult to do and show at the same time, but you can actually lever the whole thing out like that. Okay, if I hold it like that. Okay, so even with that one, when you're disconnected as well, it gives you a little bit more leeway. You can see that this leads a bit longer anyway. Now what you need to do is get yourself uh, a little bit of a screwdriver, not, nothing too sharp because you don't want to damage uh, the side of the handle down there. And work your way down, you'll see that you're going to mark it a little bit anyway, but what you do is mark your way, uh, work your way down, and being careful, that one's not come out properly. And eventually you'll you'll start to pull it out like that. You can see it's just come out loose, and then do the same on the other side, like that. You can see once you've taken it off, it becomes a wee bit easier. Okay, and then you can just pull that out like that. Okay, and then that, you see it's made of like a flexible, well quite a hard sort of rubber. And you can see inside there, that's where the new trick connector goes. So it's effectively, the cable goes in there like that. And the new trick connector, the switchcraft connector. And then that sits in there like that. Okay, and then it sticks out the bottom. So it's going to be the same size, same type of connector. Then, because basically you've got that all loose like that then, see? Is undo the handle clamp and turn it round in the normal sort of seated position like that and then just pull that straight through. I don't know if you saw that but it's really easy basically it just falls straight through like that. Okay and so there you have it. You got quite difficult to get off that is. 
So you've got the stereo cable like that. You see I've used Nutrick connectors on the on the microphone side, but use the Switchcraft for the inside the little handle part. The actual length of the cable, let's have a look at the existing one first, the one road cell. Now the cable itself is a it's called a road professional low noise microphone cable and roughly the whole length of the cable including the plugs is 18 inches that's from end to end there okay the actual cable itself uh, without taking it all apart you're looking at about 15 to 15 and a half inches that's about 400 mil roughly that's the that's the original one that came with the blimp okay the one I made up bear with me while I sort of get into position is from end to end the plugs you're looking at 22 inches which is 560 mil now the actual cable I'd estimate to be around about 18, 18 and a half inches. Now I've done that to give a bit more sort of space so I can move microphones backwards and forwards. Uh, I will say with the, the road blimp setup like that, um, I've got the Rycote uh, clips to hold the microphones in place, but you'll find that the O-rings aren't the right size. Uh, I'm not sure if you get the the, the little O-rings with the, the mounts from Vicoat, um, but you'll find that they won't fit either unless they do a specific one for this. ones I, I got weren't the right ones. Um, but basically because they're just neoprene O-rings or some sort of O-rings you can use silicon if you like. And the internal diameter of the O-rings that you need are about three quarters of an inch and um, you can see that that fits in there quite nicely gives quite a bit of sort of boinginess and uh, that's basically it so nice and simple to put back together I'll just put it back together just to show you got the the lead through the back of the handle like that and then basically manoeuvre that put the cable through first and a little bit fiddly especially when you're trying to do it and show the camera at the same time but then you can see how easy that just clip back together and then making sure the little hole is at the back there that's the way I, I like it anyway just push that back in like that and then that fits all back together quite nicely so there you go that's how to take um, let's just put these back in that's how to remove and replace the cable on a road blimp okay thanks for watching cheers